Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ferguson, and today we'll be working on Skills Unit 7, Lesson 12. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to segment five sounds in a single syllable word, provide the sound and letter name for each letter, read and spell words with the ch, sh, th, th, qu, and ng sound, and read sets dad with purpose and understanding. It's time to review. Let's review all of the letters and sounds that we've learned so far this year. Are you ready? Say them with me. I says I. A says A. B says B. D says D. R says R. M says M. N says N. V says V, W says W, X says X, O says A, U says A, P says P, S says S, Y says Y, T says C says K, E says E, F says F, J says J, Z says Z, K says K, L says O, G says G, H says H. CH says ch, SH says sh, TH says th, TH also says th, QU says qua, NG says ng. Excellent job, boys and girls. Kiss your brains. Now it's time to segment. Remember, when we segment, we are going to break words apart by saying each sound in the words. Then we're going to blend them back together again. Our first word is a five sound word. So put your hands up. Drips. D, er, e, p, s, drips. This word is a four sound word. Soft. S, a, f soft this word is a five sound word split s p o i t split this word is a five sound word traps t r a p s traps this word is a five sound word brings Er, I, ng, z, brings. This word is a five sound word. Stamp. S, t, a, m, p, stamp. This word is a four sound word. Thrill. Th, er, I, o, thrill. This word is a four sound word. Trash, t, er, a, sh, trash. This word is a four sound word. Bench, b, e, n, ch, bench. This word is a four sound word. Things, z, e, n, g, z, things. Nice job, boys and girls. Now it's time to chain. When we chain, we're just going to change the sound in a word to make a new word. So we're going to blend the word, the sounds in this word. Let's blend it together. B, a, n, ch, bunch. So this word says bunch. If we change the b, t, 
to a what would a new word be? Hunch. You got it. If we change the to ul, what would our new word be? Lunch. Nice job. If we change the ul to p, what would our new word be? Punch. That's right. If we change the p to m, what would a new word be? Munch. Nice job. If we take the n out of this word, what would a new word be? Much. Nice work. If we change the ch to sh, what would a new word be? Mush. You're right. If we change the m mm to er, what would a new word be? Rush. Nice work. If we change the sh to ng, what would a new word be? You got it. Rung. Now we have a new chain. Let's blend these sounds together and read the word. U, a, g, lug, lug. So if we change the g to sh, what would our new word be? Lush. Nice work. If we change the a uh to a, uh, what would our new word be? Lash. Nice job. If we change the o uh to s, what would our new word be? Sash. Nice job. If we change the s to k, what would our new word be? Cash. You got it. If we take the k out of this word, what would our new word be? Ash. Nice job. If we add a b to the beginning, what would our new word be? Bash. Good job. If we change the sh to th, what would our new word be? Bath. Nice job. If we change the b to p, what would our new word be? Path. Great work. And if we change the p to m, what would our new word be? Math. Great job, boys and girls. Pat yourselves on the back. You did such a great job chaining. We are going to read our new story that we read yesterday. Seth's dad. We're going to read all about Seth's dad again. Now to review a little bit about sentences, remember, they all start with an uppercase letter. And the names of the characters start with an uppercase letter. Sentences end in a punctuation, like a period. And remember all of the sounds that we've learned so far so we can blend words that don't look familiar to us. Let's practice these words that are mentioned in our story today. Lunch. Crush. Seth's. With. Thinks. Math. This. Brings strong. Nice job. What's this page called? You got it. The title page. What about this page? What is this page called? Yep. The table of contents. Very good. So our story today is called Seth's Dad. 
Which page does Seth's dad start on? You got it. Page 18. Let's read the story together. Point under each word as you read. Seth's dad. This is Ted. Ted is Seth's dad. Ted brings his lunch with him. Ted thinks and plans. Ted is fast with math. Ted is strong. Ted can crush tin cans with his hands. Nice reading, boys and girls. Now I need you to take out a piece of paper and a pencil. What I want you to do is first look at the pictures. We have a shed, bench, string, and quilt. With your finger, I want you to point on the screen and match the words in the word box with the picture. Remember, use all of the sounds that we learned, blend them together, and say the word. When you're done matching the words with the picture, I want you just to simply write down each word on your piece of paper. Flip your paper. Now I want you to do the same thing. These four pictures are of moth, chimp, fish, and bath. Use your finger, match each word to the picture, and then I want you to write those four words from the word box on your piece of paper. Great work, boys and girls. Keep it up. I'm so proud of you. Woohoo!